WhamCam, sponsored by your local Honda dealers. It's time to go Wham! Hi folks, I found Linda, and uh, Linda thinks if there was a thunderstorm right now, yes. you can go hide in your car and it would protect you from the thunder and lightning because you have rubber tires. Is that true? It's time to go wham and find out. So what if you were sitting in your car and instead of rubber tires, it was just the wheel on the road? No, iron. Oh, the rubber, yes. It is. It's a conductor? No, the Insulator. opposite. Insulator. Slap me. Wham! <laughs> Thunder, you hear it in the distance, lightning, and you're all safe in your car. I'm in the right lane, my flashers are on, I'm going <laughs> slow. You know, when I see someone with their flashers on, to me it's like the panic button. They I've lost control drive. of my life, help, help! Well, with the rubber tires is what I've been told. <laughs> the rubber again! What's with everybody in the rubber tires? <laughs> If the rubber protects you, then yeah, yeah, why don't be... you just put on a big rubber suit and stand outside? Don't do that! You know what's bothering me now? This little spot on your shirt. Could I get that off somehow? or it's what? A, it's a bug. That's not a bug. Yeah. He yeah. claims it's a bug. He told me it was a bug. Oh, did you ever hear of Michael Faraday? No. All right, he's an English scientist. He knows, and you should know, that the metal around the car acts as what we call a Faraday cage. So the charge from lightning wants to connect with the ground. So it's gonna get there the shortest way it can. So it hits the car and goes right to the ground around you through the metal. It has nothing to do with the tires. That's an urban legend or a wives tale. Are you guys wives? Yes. Stop telling it. But you are pretty safe in a car. Just don't touch anything metal. And that's a wham. No, get that stain out, all right? Joe should talk. He's got stains all over his shirts. Man. I know, and holes too. You got that right. Winter seems a 